Hello and welcome to another American Crafts Design Team project. I decided to make a Traveler's Notebook sized mini album. So it's the same size as a standard Traveler's Notebook. I painted the outside as I just showed you with the Vicky Booten watercolors. Here's the first page. I decided to do a full page photo and some journaling. And then I'm just going to flip through each page. I did some stamping on the right and a sticker. This page I stitched hearts together. In some pages I use the washi tape like this one as a flip up so that I can eventually journal some more private journaling under there. And I use the American Crafts banner punch on the right side of this page and created all those banner flags from the 6x6 Dear Lizzie uh, Stay Colorful paper pad. Here's another flip up and I included the business card from the coffee shop. So this is a mini album all about our coffee adventures together. And this is coffee in Ireland. So I painted with the Jane Davenport watercolors. That page on the right is hand painted with the watercolors. And then this page has a little flip at the bottom and I just hand lettered. I'm going to bring it up to the camera here. It says sea salt caramel latte. So I just hand lettered that didn't draw lines or anything, I just hand lettered it. It's okay if it's a little bit crooked. I punched a hole in the center of this page so that you could see through to the little sticker from the sticker book from American Crafts. And then another little flip. And those new glitter stickers really look good over the Vicky Booten pigment ink. So that pigment ink went on the uh, Vicky Booten mixed media art paper really well. And I love that paper with the houses on it. This is a page about me and my girl. I watercolored the right to look like sea glass. And then the little flip has journaling about our days. See, I'm pointing to the picture and to the journaling that coordinates with it. I just stitched on a sticker from the Dear Lizzie sticker pack. And I did that before I did the page behind so that it would cover up the stitching on the back. That watercolor was also the Jane Devonport from American Crafts. This page I created a little pocket so that I could tuck in the receipt. I thought it might be neat to eventually down the line in the future see how much items cost right now. So, And then I met a IG friend in real life. She became my real life friend. So hi Claudia. Um, <laughs> You might know her as White Sugar Designs. So she was in town, I went and picked her up and we went to a scrapbook store and got coffee. This page I love, I love the unicorn paper. And I had printed, uh, stamped these labels with the Vicky Booten pigment ink before I started the album. So that little flip just hides the darker photo and I put a sticker and some daisies to kind of carry over from the left little flowers. And I crossed out magical and put caffeinated. <laughs> another picture of me and Claudia. We went out for another A. I had a snickerdoodle latte and we had a lunch date there. So this is the back of the vellum and I just adhered a Dear Lizzie chipboard sticker. And then this, I punched this out of the cut apart paper and stitched across it before I adhered it. And that's the last page. There's the back of the watercoloring. And this is a stitched album. Thank you for joining me. And here are some still shots so you can see up close and a little bit brighter photos. And of course you can pause it if you'd like to read the journaling there. I just thought I would give you guys uh, some better quality photos than I could get in the video. And some still shots without my hands in the way. And something I didn't mention was I placed every other page in this album was a Vicky Art, Vicky Booten mixed media art paper. So it's a white page and then a pattern paper page from the Dear Lizzie 12 by 12 double sided cardstocks. So that way each side had a different print. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.